everyone to another episode of the Madden 25 Fantasy Draft with the Minnesota Vikings after a phenomenal, phenomenal game last week against what should have been a tough opponent. We look to follow it up this week against what should also be a tough opponent in the 10-3 Philadelphia Eagles. And if I'm not mistaken, they are the number two team in the NFC. Oh, they're, they're tied. So, tied for the second best team in the NFC, so we're number one. This probably won't have many implications. But this is a true big test as we kind of get later in this season. Let's go on ahead, hit the wrong button again, check out the Eagles roster. To see what are we dealing with? How do they get to be 10-3? Mike Wallace, yeah, that's obviously gonna help you. Julio Jones, CJ2K, RG3, okay. They this is probably one of the best spread offenses, like mobile offenses I have ever seen. But I am noticing defense not star studded. So maybe that is where we get our kind of angle, but it's gonna be tough to stop this these four absolute studs. But we're both using the same playbooks, so I kinda know what to expect out of them. And I think we can get it done. There are three overalls better than us, which I mean take it what you will. Let's rock some throwback unis. Um, let's go 1970s uniform. No, let's go 2011 home. All right, let's hit. Let's get into the game. All right, we'll take our field goal. Put ourselves up three. No problem with that. No problem whatsoever. Mm -hmm. All right, second and two. Bro, I got spun. Like, I knew exactly what play that was, and I still got spun out of my shoes. Cover two man spy. Guess pass. We need a red zone interception here. Like, that is the only way I think we can somehow stay in this game. It's an interception. And Jimmy Smith gives it to us. Oh, boy. Oh, we really needed that. I've been absolutely boxed all game. They've just been driving down the field all game. So to keep this within four before halftime, maybe Jimmy Smith's most crucial interception of the season because otherwise this game would have gotten ugly. You know what? We won't be able to get a field goal range out of this. Hold on. It's getting four verts. We might be able to do a little bit of damage before the half. <gasps> no way. Time out, time out, time out. No way did that safety whiff on that. There's just no way he would whiff on that. Let's get in goal line. Let's put Brandon Jacobs back there. And we're going to run halfback dive. We're going to score a touchdown to cap off an insane drive before the half. Pure luck. I mean, the, just how in the world did we just score that? We got a crucial interception the play to start, before we even got the ball for this drive. Brandon Banks jet sweep for a bunch of yards. Reception for a bunch of yards. Brandon Jacobs rushing touchdown. What a What a drive. What a nice little series of events. We're going to run another read option. Second and four from the nine yard line. Cause this guy just bite on the read option already. Actually, never mind. I'm okay with Lady on Bell rushing touchdown. That works for me too. You know what? I'm pretty glad I decided to start him because he's kind of proven he should be starting this entire time and I was just being a complete idiot and not doing so. All right, we're going to go FL Slant. Let's hit Brandon Banks. Give him a little bit of space to run after the catch, hopefully. There it is. 
Go, Brandon. Go, Brandon. Go, Brandon. Let's go. Perfect formation sub. Favorite player to score a touchdown with. And like I said, run slants. Give him a little bit of space to catch it after he, or run after catch. Nice little rack. And I did not expect a touchdown out of it. I'm going to be honest. But I will gladly take it. I mean, he's just too fast to cover. Got a nice little rub route from Hayward Bay, I believe. And then just fast enough to take it around the edge. Get the touchdown. All right, cover two man, QB spy. Staple of this team. And for good reason. <gasps> no way. No way that just happened. Absolutely no way. Wide receiver completely drops it. And sends the ball. Perfect spot, perfect time. Just scoops it, takes it to the house. Oh, I got to see the replay again. How bad was it? So I feel like... The, pa the pass was definitely open. But 87, Mariani, their, their kick returner, just absolutely stone cold hands. Bounces right off of him. Hold on, that might, I don't think that's a touchdown. I'm pretty sure that ball was in the ground, but I don't know how much of it is. That's just Madden graphics, but I'll still take the touchdown. I don't care if it's an actual one or not. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let's just switch to four verts. This is a Victor Cruz touchdown. Okay, that should have been a Victor Cruz touchdown. But somehow, some linebacker I've never heard of is able to keep up with Victor Cruz. Like that, that, okay, that, okay, that was pass interference. That was just pass interference. Like, he's getting in the way. You can't do that. So it was a really good thing we kind of found our groove in that second half because I was feeling so negative about the team. We weren't doing very good the first half, but boy, did we come alive in the second half. We had more yards in every category, more first downs. I mean, we had more passing yards than they had total yards. Passing the ball wise, Vic, 10 for 16, 176 yards, touchdown, no interceptions. Dennis Dixon, 1 for 4, 31, and a pick. Vince Young, 4 for 5 for 18 yards. Brandon Banks, 2 carries for 45 yards. Le'Veon Bell got the main share of the workload with 8 carries for 40 yards and a touchdown. Vince Young had a scramble. Ness Dixon had a scramble. Denard Robinson didn't really get his going as much as I really would have hoped. And Brandon Jacobs had a Brandon Jacobs stat line of 1, one carry, 1 yard for a touchdown. Receiving, Brandon Banks, 3 catches, 108 yards and a touchdown. Denard Robinson had some good catches out of the backfield as well. Smith had one. Amendola just kind of spread it around a little bit. Four pancakes from Hayward Bay and Victor Cruz. That is insane. Leading tackler was D'Amico Ryans, who also had the most sacks and the only sacks, but two. Had an interception from Cody Sensabaugh, that touchdown, which if you watch the replay, you watch it closely, was definitely not a catch. It definitely did bounce off the ground, but... Replay said it was a, t a completion, so whatever they say goes. Jimmy Smith did good. Perfect from Graham Gano. And now I have, myself, some tough decisions to make. Because I do believe, with that win, we officially clinched the one seed. And that also means, what do I do for these next couple of games? Do I just sim them? Or do I try to keep the undefeated season going? Because let's go ahead and take a look at the standings. We're 14 now. Clinch the one seed by a long shot. Do I risk playing anybody and getting hurt for the playoffs? And then with on top of that, do I even play these games? Because they literally mean nothing. And I just can't bring myself to play these games. And do I want to just roll out some backups? Just for us to get, you know, absolutely ran over and I not enjoy it. So, I've decided in just this little explanation, we're just going to sim to the end of the season. Because these games truly do not matter. And if we lose, we lose. You know, the... Okay, we won. And, you know, I was going to say, the Indianapolis Colts went 14-0 until they chose to lose. And... Even then, they didn't. They went to the playoffs. But we went 16-0. We are undefeated in the regular season. 
and we got Cardinals Rams and Lions Panthers playing. And we can we can just go on ahead and sim to yet another week because we have three games left until the Super Bowl. And somehow, some way, I really think we can go on ahead and win it all. The nine and seven Cardinals will be playing against in this upcoming game. Games are really going to start to matter now. We're in the playoffs. We're undefeated. We're the one seed. We should win this. We really need to win this. And next episode, we're going right into the playoffs. Like, we are here. This is when games truly, truly, truly start to matter. And I am so, so scared. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe so you can see, you know, if you've been watching along this far, you're going to love these next couple of episodes in the playoffs. And... I'll see you for hopefully the third to last episode against these Arizona Cardinals.